there are no good guys in the, in the war in Yemen. And we have only um, criminals and victims, no heroes. It's airstrikes, indiscriminate chilling, torture, and forced disappearance. There is a lot of attacking to schools and hospitals and uh, child soldiers. In spite of all the very direct violations in Yemen, starvation is the worst. Parties of the conflict that are using starvation as a weapon of war. 24 million Yemenis need, need humanitarian aid. More people than live in Florida. 10 million are on the brink of famine. Twice South Carolina's population. We consider ourselves building a human rights memory. And we use this information for advocacy, yes, to protect civilians, but also for justice and accountability in the future. When we say in Muatana that we documented this incident, it means that we have uh, visited the site, did a lot of interviews with eyewitnesses, survivors, uh, families to the members. We also assist uh, the areas when there is an, uh, an incident to say if there is a military target or not. We document the remnants of weapons, take photos of them. It's a very bad war since the beginning, but there was no attention in Yemen. And I keep saying that the, the war in Yemen is not forgotten, it is ignored. The very huge shift happened after the Khashoggi murder. Turkish officials have accused Saudi Arabia of murdering a high-profile Saudi journalist. New calls to end U.S. involvement in the war in Yemen as the fallout continues over Khashoggi's murder. Breaking news from the U.S. Senate. They have unanimously passed a resolution to withdraw American military assistance for Saudi Arabia's war in Yemen. I'm so scared that the attention in Yemen now is just a fashion. The world experienced how much the pressure had influence positively. So if it was just a fashion and it went down, it's gonna be a disaster and even sad. I defend myself by being optimistic. Peace in Yemen is very possible. I can see it. It just needs uh, a will. Since it is still possible, I still keep the hope.